Two millimeters. Two millimeters! I have to fit in a graphics card, a reservoir, a radiator, and fans with two millimeters spare. So despite being a self-proclaimed PC hardware genius, I know nothing about water cooling. Now that's because water cooling is, well, kind of expensive. But EK have some weird, like, Halloween deal going on right now, so I decided to see if I can fully blind get all the parts I need for my upcoming water-cooled build. That's right, no prior research, no nothing, so uh, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so I know that the first thing I need to get is some radiators. Yeah! And it looks like they have no radiators on sale anyway, so, uh, oh well. Okay, so the case I'm going for, which I'm not even gonna tell you what it is, so it's a bigger surprise, can manage up to two 240s and a 120. Now, I can't be bothered to do the 120 in the back, that's just gonna be, you know, a straight-up fan without a radiator, so only the, the two 240s are gonna be water-cooled, so I need two 240s. Where are they? I just want one that doesn't have this, like, white thing on it. Okay, so I can pick between PE and CE, which honestly I have no idea what the difference is. Okay, so I have no idea what the difference is, so I'm just gonna go with the CE ones and hope for the best. Okay, next up I know I need a CPU block. Yeah! You know, I wish you could just buy the CPU block that EK uses for the AIOs, because that thing, that thing looks so good, but I don't think you can just buy it standalone. I think this one looks the best. I like it when you can actually see the liquid, you know, pushing up against the CPU like this. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. Now, it is AM4, and I'll be using AM5, but I'm pretty sure that all CPU coolers should be direct compatible with AM5. And I assume that CPU blocks will work the same way. Well, there's only one way to find out. Okay, next up, I'm gonna need the actual, like, reservoir. Or Ideally, a pump and reservoir combo because, well, space is going to be a major, major constraint. I assume I just need, like, something like this, but, like, how do I even mount it? Like, I'm trying to find it on the pictures, but, like, I can't even... They didn't even, like, show off what the mounting mechanism is. I can see it's, like, four screws at the back, but, like, I've never seen a mounting system like that on any PC case with like four screws so closely together. It has a mounting hole pattern of 65 by 34. What does that mean though? Like what kind of, is that like a standard? Like, or do I need some kind of like adapter or like what? Or in, unless you get a case that has that kind of mounting, you're basically just doomed. Or should I just get a drill and just, you know, DIY a mount for this thing? Ah, there's a, uh, there's an entire brackets and accessories section. That's probably what I need. Okay, I guess that makes sense, but like at the same time, if you're buying a reservoir for like 150 euros or whatever it was, then I'd expect to have all the mounting hardware in it already, but whatever. Okay, so this is how you're supposed to mount it, but I have like nowhere to mount it on the bottom of the case. I need something like hanging off the case, if that makes sense. So I need something that can like, you know, be hung like, but yeah, can, yeah like an owl because I'm a loser who has no idea what they're doing. This, this is exactly what I need. Yeah, there we go. So you mount this to like your actual, you know, radiator or fans or whatever, and then you just kind of hang the, yeah, like that. You just hang the reservoir from that. Okay, this is perfect. Now it is going to look kind of weird with a reservoir kind of occupying just like the bottom half of a radiator. So unless I get like a giant, like a giant reservoir. You know, just get like this absolutely massive pillar inside my PC that definitely isn't compensating for anything and just kind of have it in front of the entire radiator. Now that could work. Okay, uh, I was just looking for some kind of mounting system for that and I found these things where the only picture they have is this. How old is this picture? Do they even remember that this product is on the website? What, like, what is that graphics card? What is that motherboard? That is some super old, like, TDR2 era ASUS unit. In fact, I have that exact motherboard. I, I have that. I have that exact motherboard. Give me a second. Okay, maybe it's not like the exact same thing, but like, you get my point. ASUS made motherboards like that in the LGA 775 days. So that tells you how old that picture is. Oh, what I could get is like these, you know, huggers or whatever you want to call them that, that hold up my absolutely ginormous reservoir. And honestly, something like this would be like ideal. Like these kind of reservoirs look the best, but like I, I wouldn't be able to mount it anywhere, you know? So I, I can't really mount it, you know, parallel to the radiator because then it won't let any air through. But can I like mount it in like a perpendicular way? There's no way, right? Wait, what enough is this angled bracket? <gasps> That's the thing. That is exactly what I was thinking about. 
this mounted like that next to the radiator so it can still let air through. That is perfect. Yes, okay, that is the solution. We're going with this. That's gonna look so sweet. And it's gonna be a very good use of the kind of space you get, you know, like at, right in front of your case, because like nothing ever goes there apart from like the edge of your graphics. Your graphics card. Mm. Oh no. Is the graphics card gonna like interfere with that? Actually, it shouldn't. Because like water cooled cards are a lot smaller, especially like 30 and 40 series, because like the PCB itself is in this like very funny shape. Could that work? Give me a second, I have to do some maths. Okay, so the maximum GPU length for the case I'm going for is 405 millimeters, and that is with the front fans mounted. Okay, now this here isn't obviously the graphics card I'm gonna go for because it's like the AIO one, but it should give us like a good idea of how long an Aorus water cooled graphics card is because I'm most likely gonna go for an Aorus one and it is 238. So that is, that is gonna easily fit. And now we need to also figure out how much space the actual reservoir is gonna take up. So that is going to be uh, 120 millimeters. Ooh, okay, that's tight. That leaves us with 47 millimeters and we still haven't taken into account the radiators. Something tells me that the radiators aren't gonna be that small. Two millimeters. Two millimeters! That is all we have left. I have to fit in a graphics card, a reservoir, a radiator and fans with two millimeters spare. Ouch. Like, am I going crazy or should that work? Like, granted, the clearance is way too close for comfort, but like, it should work, right? Okay, actually, these other radiators, they are not only cheaper, but they're also smaller by five millimeters. So I guess I'm gonna go with these instead just to give us a bit more space, but still only leaves us with seven millimeters of clearance between all those parts. Okay, next up, I need fittings. Yeah. Okay, so do I want straight ones or 90 degree ones? That's a good question. What on earth do I want? Also, is there really like no black ones on sale anywhere? Okay, something like this, right? Okay, so something like this for 10 to 13 black fittings. These look kind of nice, right? So let's just add like, I don't know, six of them. Also, I'm gonna definitely need 90s for at least the reservoir, because like, how else am I gonna make that work? It's gonna be very tight otherwise, so... Well, the entire build's gonna be pretty tight already, but still, you know what I mean. These are like the correct ones, right? For like the 10 to 13 tubing, right? Speaking of tubing, what exactly do I even need here? Because I'm going straight for hardline, you know? I'm not gonna make it easy for myself. Well, I guess my only option is uh, 16 because everything else is sold out. Okay, so now let's actually, you know, search for compatible fittings now that we know that. Ah, so these are the ones I need instead. Cool. Is there an actual 90 version of these? Because I don't think I've seen one. And that's kind of worrying. Like, actually, what difference does it make? Like, can't hardline and softline fittings work with both hardline and softline tubing? Or am I like, missing something? Unless, unless you have to buy the actual like, 90 degree part separately and then, you know, put in a fitting on either side. That would be evil, but it would make sense. I don't know how much tubing I need, so I'm just gonna go with like three and hope that's enough. Now when it comes to stuff like a heat gun or like a saw, I guess I already have those things, so I don't really need them. But I'm gonna need actually like things that allow you to bend them to a specific shape. Basically those things. Okay, so this one is for both 90 and 45 degrees for 16 millimeter tubing. Yes, yes, give me all of that. So that's like everything, right? Or do you forget something? Either way, our total is 561 euros and 28 cents. Oh boy, water cooling is still expensive. Oh yeah, we need like coolant, so uh, sure, whatever. Blue's nice, I guess. There, 569 euros. Nice. And even though it is very expensive, I feel like I owe it to you and me to do this. To, with no prior experience, with no prior knowledge, water cool a Ryzen 7950X and RTX 4090 build in a very, very challenging case. So that is going to be a video for another time, so definitely subscribe to his channel. 
so you don't miss it. And by the way, if you're still here and you want to help me financially recover from the big mistake I'm about to make, then make sure to check out our Patreon down in the video description below, because even just one single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my extinct patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Justin Rage, Elevroniak, Barlash Volker, Max Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Jesse Herdman. Thank you guys so, so much for support, it truly goes a long way. Down here you're going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.